I'm Reed Kirkenbauer with InvestAsian.com, and you're watching Nomad Capitalist. Thailand is the most popular country to buy real estate as a foreign investor in Asia. And with the country now fully open to foreign arrivals, the real estate market has seen a boom of sorts over the past few months. Here I'll tell you all about buying a condo in Thailand. Now I've been active in Thailand and specifically Bangkok's real estate market for about a decade. I signed the agreement for my first condo in 2009. It was off plan, so the condo was not even built yet. It finished construction in 2011. And since then, over the past decade, Thailand's real estate market has evolved rapidly, with prices in some areas doubling or tripling, especially in the city center. There are all sorts of different cities and towns to invest in Thailand's real estate market as foreigner, all with different goals and different lifestyles, everywhere from the beach areas down south in Phuket to Pattaya and Hua Hin, which are beach areas a bit closer to Bangkok, each about a two hour drive, all the way up north to Chiang Mai and the mountains, and of course Bangkok itself, which is one of the largest cities in the region with a population of 16 million people. So there's all sorts of different real estate markets within Thailand itself. It's not just Bangkok. There's all sorts of different markets, each with their own fundamentals and prices and which appeal to different people, each with different lifestyle also, if you're not looking to invest, or if you're looking for a, a lifestyle purchase more so than an investment, I should say. Prices in Thailand vary. One thing, though, worth noting is that you can only buy condo units in Thailand on a freehold basis as a foreign investor. You're out of luck if you want to buy land as a foreigner. Those are reserved for locals only. There were talks recently of starting a program where foreigners who invest 30 million baht, which is about a million US dollars, they were talking about letting foreigners who invest money at that level buy real estate, or landed real estate, I should say, in Thailand. But those talks were scrapped, and for the foreseeable future, you're only going to be able to buy condo units in Thailand as a foreign investor. Regarding price, what you'll pay will largely depend on quality standards and, of course, location. If you want to buy a condo unit out in the suburbs of Bangkok, for example, for example, to the east in Bang Na, to the west up in Pahonyotin, or on the other side of the river in uh, Tonbori, then you can buy a condo unit for as little as 60,000 baht per square meter, which is about 1,500, 2,000 US dollars. So rather inexpensive by global standards, but you probably won't be close to a BTS station. The BTS is the rapid transit uh, system that they have in Bangkok. You probably won't be within walking distance of that. If you want to buy a luxury condo in the city center of Bangkok, you should expect to pay at least 200,000 baht per square meter, especially if it's within 500 meters of a BTS station. And prices can even go way up from there. There are condos in Thailand where units are being sold for 500, 600,000 baht per square meter. Those are Singapore prices. But there are very luxurious buildings, world standard, state of the art. Uh, you know, you have your own personal butler in some of these properties. So there's really a type of property for everyone in Thailand, whether you're looking to live out near the beach or uh, if you're looking to live a luxurious lifestyle in the city center, along with, you know, next to Michelin star restaurants and uh, huge malls, some of the largest malls in the world. So no matter what your goal is, there's a type of property in Thailand for it. Whether you want to live out near the beach or if you want to live a city center lifestyle next to Michelin star restaurants and some of the largest malls in the world. You can find that in Bangkok with the caveat that you can only buy a condo unit in Thailand as a foreigner. Now, where's the property market going from here? Well, if you were to ask me 10 years ago if buying real estate in Thailand was a good idea, I would have said, well, absolutely. And uh, since then, the market, as I said, has evolved rapidly. I should note that Property condo units out in the suburbs have mostly stayed flat for the past decade. A condo unit that you could buy for 60,000 baht, around 2,000 US dollars per square meter, 10, 15 years ago is about that price today in most suburban locations. On the other hand, real estate, prime real estate in the city center has for the most part, doubled in price, doubled, in some cases, tripled in Bangkok. If you're buying property in Sukhumvit, or Chitlom, or, 
Ratchatui or some of the city center locations, a property you were paying 100,000 baht per square meter 10 years ago is probably worth well over 200,000 today, especially if it's within close walking distance to a BTS station. In general, property in Bangkok is worth a lot more if it's closer to a BTS station in a city center location. On the other hand, if you're buying property in a beach area like Phuket, Hua Hin, Pattaya, then beach front or even beach view access is what will really make property values more expensive compared to those located further out. So you can pay about half the price for a similar property if it's located out of the city center further away from a BTS station or in the case of tourist areas if it's further away from the beach. Those are ways to limit the price that you'll pay if you're buying property in Thailand. Rental yields in Thailand as a whole are moderate. They're about, depending on, again, all sorts of factors, they can range from 4% yields to 6 and in some rare cases 7% rental yields. Generally, smaller units yield higher in Thailand, and this is really true all over the world. If you're buying a smaller unit, say 36 square meters, which is about 400 square feet, that'll yield 5 or 6%. On the other hand, a two-bedroom unit's probably closer to 3 4%, and larger units are even less than that. So smaller units, if you're seeking yields, are going to be better from that perspective. So Thailand's real estate market has a lot of variance with regards to price, location, lifestyle, quality standards. If you're buying property in Thailand, you're going to either do it through one of two ways, especially as a foreign investor if you're buying a condo. You're either going to be doing it through a real estate agent or buying directly from the developer. In the case of a real estate agent, I should note that uh, unlike the West, where if you're buying property in the US or Europe, for example, the very first place you would probably go is, well, hey, I'm going go to go to a real estate agent. And that's not necessarily the case in a lot of Asia's emerging and frontier markets. There isn't an MLS system, so to speak. So you should keep in mind that if you go to one specific realtor, you're only going to be buying or looking at property that which that realtor is listing. You're only going to be looking at the property which someone has gone to that realtor and said, hey, can you list my property? And you won't be getting an overall view of the market. So in many ways, it's best to do your own research and maybe talk to several different realtors if you're going to be buying a condo on the resale market. Now, if you're buying property through a developer in Thailand, it's going to be a new building and you'll be buying what they call off plan. And this means buying a property often several years before it's actually complete, sight unseen. And this, of course, uh, has some negatives in that you can't really see what you're buying, but you can also often get a large discount on a property uh, bought this way as opposed to buying a building that's already complete. I've personally bought off plan a few times and have always done well with it. Some people haven't, but it's very important to do your research especially on the developer when you're buying property through them. It's uh, a good idea to maybe look at some of the developer's past projects, go visit them, see what condition uh, a building they, brought, they built, say, five years ago is in, read Google reviews, see what uh, tenants and owners have to say about the project. And you should always buy a condo from a well-established developer, ideally one with several dozen finished projects under their belt. And there are many developers in Thailand which meet this criteria, most of which are listed on the stock exchange of Thailand, which means that they aren't only accountable to whoever they're selling a condo to, they're also accountable to shareholders and their overall reputation. So if you're buying from a developer, certainly do some research on them. With all of that said, Thailand has something for everyone. Whether you want to live a cosmopolitan lifestyle in Bangkok, or if you want to live in a scenic beach down in Phuket or Koh Samui out on the islands. Thailand has something for you, and for that reason, it's very popular with foreign investors, whether they're actually seeking to buy in Thailand for investment purposes, or whether they want a second residence, or simply a lifestyle purchase.